First Night St. Petersburg is co-sponsored by the City of St. Petersburg. Presenting sponsor, Duke Energy. Our 2021 celebration sponsors, Clear Channel Outdoor, Cox Media Group, 105.5 WDUV, St. Pete Chamber of Commerce, 400 Beach Seafood and Tap House, Park Shore Grill, Space Machine and Engineering Corporation, the St. Petersburg Downtown Neighborhood Association, Hal Friedman and Willie Rudowski. Discover Downtown St. Petersburg, the Old Southeast Market, Amica, Lens Honey, Spore, Bunch, and Franz Certified Public Accountants, Lee and Sue Allen, Annex, Dynasty Financial Partners, the Law Office of Heather Plotch, and the Tampa Bay Times. We give thanks to all of our sponsors and all of our partners. First Night St. Petersburg is co-sponsored by the City of St. Petersburg. Presenting sponsor, Duke Energy. Our 2021 celebration sponsors, Clear Channel Outdoor, Cox Media Group, 105.5 WDUV, St. Pete Chamber of Commerce, 400 Beach Seafood and Tap House, Park Shore Grill, Space Machine and Engineering Corporation, the St. Petersburg Downtown Neighborhood Association, Hal Friedman and Willie Rudowski, Discover Downtown St. Petersburg, the Old Southeast Market, Amica, Lens Honey, Spore, Bunch and Franz Certified Public Accountants, Lee and Sue Allen, Annex, Dynasty Financial Partners, The Law Office of Heather Plotch, and The Tampa Bay Times. We give thanks to all of our sponsors and all of our partners.
First Night St. Petersburg is co-sponsored by the City of St. Petersburg. Presenting sponsor, Duke Energy. Our 2021 celebration sponsors, Clear Channel Outdoor, Cox Media Group, 105.5 WDUV, St. Pete Chamber of Commerce, 400 Beach Seafood and Tap House, Park Shore Grill, Space Machine and Engineering Corporation, the St. Petersburg Downtown Neighborhood Association, Hal Friedman and Willie Rudowski, Discover Downtown St. Petersburg, the Old Southeast Market, Amica, Lens Honey, Spore, Bunch and Franz Certified Public Accountants, Lee and Sue Allen, Annex, Dynasty Financial Partners, The Law Office of Heather Plotch, and the Tampa Bay Times. We give thanks to all of our sponsors and all of our partners. From the main event, First Night St. Pete 2021. Grab your bingo cards, your bubble wrap, and your paper hat and crafts. The new year is on its way. Welcome to First Night St. Pete. We are so happy that you've joined us to ring in 2021 with unity, art, and togetherness. This year marks our 28th year of creating an innovative, fun, and diverse cultural experience for the Tampa Bay community and beyond to celebrate New Year's Eve. This year's event is co-sponsored by the great city of St. Petersburg and presented by Duke Energy. As a nonprofit, we are so thankful for the support of government funding, corporate support, and sponsorship, families and individuals like you who help us continue our mission and serve the community. Grab your hat, Turn your first night button on, let it shine bright, and get ready to be a part of another first night tradition. Enjoy the show. Of a full moon's head, 
through the bars of a Cuban jail. Bloody fingers on a purple knife. Flamingo drinking from a cocktail glass. I'm on alone with someone else's wife. In my view from up on top of the mast. Hey, little bird, fly away home. Houses on fire, children all alone. Hey, little bird, fly away home. Houses on fire, children all alone. Sheets on a Hong Kong bed, stays a bow on a sling and then ride to the carnival is what she said. Hundred dollars makes it dark inside. Hit a million in the drop dead suit. Dutch ping on a downtown train. Two dollar pistol, but the gun won't shoot. I'm on a corner in the pool.
First Night St. Pete was established in 1994 by a group of four incredibly determined women, some of which you're going to hear from tonight. We are a part of a nationwide celebration of the arts on New Year's Eve. At one point, there were 40 different First Nights, and now First Night St. Pete is one of seven. We'll get to share with some of the other celebrations around the U.S. a little later in our evening. I'm Pat Mason, and I'm the retired executive director of First Night. I was its first director. Uh, there were some women in St. Petersburg who had seen First Night Boston, where First Night began as a bicentennial event. And some artists were asked to propose an event for Boston's um, bicentennial celebration of the nation. And they decided they wanted to do an event that brought the arts out of galleries and museums and performing halls to the public. These women who had seen this in Boston asked Leslie Curran, who was on the city council at the time, to give them $6,000 of seed money so that uh, we could take some people to a first night conference and learn how to do it. One of my favorite memories is the first first night because it was so very special, as you can imagine, with bringing all of those people downtown before our downtown was downtown. <laughs> and so Sandy and Paul Epling were asked, I asked them to come up with a design for the finale stage. And this was day and this was night and they were hung at each side of the stage. And at midnight, this was our finale. They came together and they kissed. <laughs> you know, I'm still enjoying First Night, even after I retired as executive director, because it fills such a need in the community. I'm a grandmother and I have four grandchildren and I have taken them to First Night since they were very small. What I look forward to for the future of First Night is that it will continue because it is not easy to continue in the arts. All right, everyone, grab your bingo cards because it's time to bingo. This is how it works. Periodically throughout the show, you'll see the bingo numbers pop up on your screen. The first person to get five consecutive numbers in a row will win bingo. So be sure to use your free space and either fill in your number that was called with a yellow marker or circle the number with a pen. Be sure not to cover the number because we will need you to send us a picture of your bingo card in order to verify that you are indeed the winner. If and when you get a bingo, comment bingo in the comment section underneath the video so that you can get your prize. The first two winners will receive a very special First Night St. Pete piece of artwork. Good luck, everybody. It's what you've been waiting for since last year, the bubble stump. Let's get ready in five, four, three, two, one. Let's stop and make a whole lot of noise, baby. And happy new year to all the kids and the families. Have a fantastic time.
Hawaii. We watched the ball drop 12 a.m. on the dot. Some people's eyes tear of sadness, others of joy. We all make silent resolutions to be better, to love more than ever. Noticing that no matter how bad the winters, people will always need to express themselves. The poets communed online, the painters gave us how-tos, and the musicians saved our lives. When the time of need was great, the art community was there to lend its hand. Now, with this new year, that hand grasps yours, to help you off the ground like a friend after you take a spill. Brushing ourselves off, to continue on our morning walk towards the horizon, as we watch the new sun bring forth the light for a new year of abundance and blessings. It's a poem by Geo's Typos.
everyone. Thank you for tuning in for First Night St. Pete. I am Maureen McDowell, the founder and executive director of Keep St. Pete Lit. I'm Denzel Johnson Green. I work at the Studio 620, Tombow Books. I've created Neptune Poetry Magazine and Community Poetry. And my name is Sarah Reese Chakonsky, and I teach for Keep St. Pete Lit, and I'm the author of uh, two books and one coming out in the spring. So. So we're so excited to be here. We um, collaborate on several events that Keep St. Pete Lit does and also with Community Poetry and Neptune Poetry Mag. So we're excited to be a part of it. And Keep St. Pete Lit has been participating in First Night. I believe this is our fifth year. So happy new year, um, the end of 2020. Bye bye 2020. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, welcome 2021. And um, we talked about how we can participate in First Night and came up with the idea of doing a collaborative poem and inspired by Art for All, which is the theme for First Night St. Pete. And Denzel started the poem off and then Sarah picked up on the last line of Denzel's poem and then I picked up on the last line of Sarah's poem. And this is what we got. So you wanna start us, Denzel? Sure. Okay. Last night I came home to my yellow cake house, that artist house, a double decker thing where sensitive folks, spongy, covered in lemon icing. When I walk through the door, a trumpet is rising. In apartment number two, they've got a son they're raising. His aria is thunder and lightning. A cat pops in and out with profound meows. He's an orator, encores from every apartment in town. We all met at an open mic, moths to a flame, to the dazzling stage light. We love to connect even when we got that stage fright. Oh, oh my, oh wow. How small downtown seems when you live in the art scene. Before quarantine, you hopped to Iberian Rooster for a late night show, some drag, open mic, some comedy, some classical prodigies, some operatic lullabies, t talking latest news with cool ladies and neat guys. Studio at 620 filled my week of plenty. Christmas lights dangled, eyes spangled, packed in more folks than your closet got hangers. Poetry open mic brought folks by the dozens. Place so crowded, we looking for lost GFs and lost husbands. Looking for chairs, but finding hugs, empty mugs that need filling, Bacchus willing, hoping we ain't, hoping wine ain't spilling. Excuse me. Hideaway Cafe is where I saw Eva play. An open mic served on a late Friday night, Sarah and Tad made everything all right. Yeah. Community Poetry Sundays, 3 to 4.30. Have fun with rhyme, get silly, get chirpy. Black Crow, Grand Central, coffee from the gods, pasta straws, cat paws, passing the torch from a legend named Bob. Mahaffey, salt water taffy, Florida orchestra savvy. Museums got me happy. Backyard art fairs, hipster chicks, and bearded dudes to spare. Selling art made in studio lairs. Yeah. Central, the Las Vegas of St. Pete. But listen, honey, you ain't a, you don't have to have money. Hang out, get some Thai food. Don't gentrify, have a humble attitude. Mm -hmm. Around here, if you throw a stick, you'll hit a broke artist. So next time, throw a stick with 20 bucks attached. Folks need hope, someone to believe in. They tried their hardest. I spy gentrifying, appropriative chicken frying, bicycles flying, cut off by fancy cars, a vicious cycle brewing. The open mic, the open mic, the last refuge of the weary and confused. Artists, writers, dreamers, enthused, throwing confetti and streamers. The words are youthful. A baby gazelle with bouncy joints like Ichikoro ramen noodles. The open mic, the open mic, the old mare, her critique is biting, time biting. Blind in one eye, but she can see the future hiding. She speaks slow. An open mic needs your ears. Practice good tithing. St. Pete, like all cities, is an idea. It's tangible, like the fedora on a tourist head, like the thin layer of blanket on your South Florida bed. Down here, things can be weird. Class division, social norms, quarantines got us lonely. So we write, we sing, we act, we dance, we draw, we paint, we play our instruments, and we hope to grow closer. We hope to understand one another, to make a new brother, to make a long lost sister, to make siblings of strangers, to make parents of mentors and warm homes of our favorite shops and stores. Stores that didn't, didn't have to move locations from rising rent, a sense of consistency, like the open mic that you skip this time because you know it's weekly. 
And frankly speaking, maybe we don't know how to be cool like New Yorkers, pretty like Parisians, strong like Chicagoans, and real like Berliners, advanced like Tokyoanites. But we try, we try, we try, and we begin at the open mic. Mm -hmm. Hey, welcome to the Studio 620. Hey there, welcome to Black Crow. The open mic will start in a few minutes. Find a seat, find a seat. Oh, some wine, Pinot Grigio or the Cab. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, get some coffee, get some coffee. Oh, okay, I feel you, I feel you, I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, it's been a while. How have you been? How have you been? Nobody asks Tad and me that at Studio 620's open mic in February 2018. Of course they didn't. Nobody knew us. We were brand new in town, sun chasers who kissed the north goodbye in the dead of winter, our sweaters stuffed in boxes for less than two rows on the calendar. We were looking for a home, and I said so into the microphone before I read my poem. I almost didn't. Because of that awful voice, who do you think you are? In a new place, it's easy to feel like an awkward high schooler searching for her two friends at the lunch table. Studio 620 was jam-packed with poets who read on a stage lit with the moon spirit before a backdrop of paintings and photographs. We were carried by all the currents. The poets open the pages of their skin to share their stories. It was that kind of honesty. In our downtown lullaby with open mics that keep us alive, art does unite us. The worker who drove four times around the block to find a spot to park his van, the teachers, the weathered, the servers, the tired, the brokenhearted, the teenagers, the rest of us. Tad and I live in the lemon cake house now with poets we met at the open mic, the ones writing this poem. The icing that blesses our walls is trumpet notes, pastel, pastel smudges, poem blossoms. I said a little shaky into that mic in February 2018 that we were looking for a place to live and we found a family too with breaths beyond walls because poets build villages with their pens. Poets build villages with their pens. The sun always shines here. That's what the mayor says. But some people feel there is nowhere for the thoughts in their heads, their dreams deferred, their hope dead. That is where art comes in. A rescue raft, a second skin. It transcends barriers, removes barricades, helps you feel a little less afraid. A poem can remind you that you have a place to rest. It quiets the riot in your head. Who said art is dead? Art for all in our sunshine city. Art walk is free, so much to see. Our waterfront parks offer nature. Isn't she pretty? Community around every corner, whether you are super social or a loner. Look around to find your tribe. Art makes the city come alive. Mm -hmm. Connection prompts conversation and reflection. So you see others as your sisters and your brothers. Art helps you realize there is nothing to fear. No matter where you look, you will see St. Pete that art is near. Good job awesome. guys. Yes. That's great. That was awesome. This is the first time. That was time so was awesome. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time we've all collaborated on a poem. So thank you so much for tuning in for First Night St. Pete. Uh, Happy New Year. Thank you to my groovy friends. We'll probably be spending New Year's together. I mean, I don't know what your plans are. Yes, yes, I was hoping we would. Yeah, we spent last year's New Year's together. So thank you so much, um, First Night St. Pete, for giving us the opportunity. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening to our poetry. Thank you to St. Pete and our art scene. And do you guys want to say anything? 
Thank you for the people who keep art alive. Yeah. The people who just, um, you know, even the listeners keep art alive. Even like, just thank you for your spirit in this city. Yep. I, I would say keep it weird, you know? <laughs> keep it fresh. Uh, keep it like uh, that old shirt at the bottom of your laundry. Keep it organic. Keep it strange. Um, I love it. That's what art is. Yep. Thank you all. Happy, happy new year. Many, many blessings in May 2021. Yes. Happy new year. Be happy new year. Yet. With so much love. Okay. Bye. your lips and all at once the sparks go flying those devil lips that know so well the art of lying and though i see the danger still the flame grows higher i know i must surrender to your kiss and fire just like a torture set the soul within me burning i must go on along this road of no returning and though it burns me and it turns me into ashes my whole world crashes without your kiss of fire. I can't resist you. What good is there in trying? What good is there denying? You're all that I desire. Since first I kissed you, my heart was yours completely. If I'm a slave, then it's a slave I want to be. Don't pity me. Don't pity me. completely if i'm a slave then it's a slave i want to be don't pity me don't pity me give me your lips and lips you won't let me borrow love me tonight and let the devil take tomorrow i know that i must have your kiss so oh it dooms me though it consumes me
living in really important times when we really need to lean in on each other y'all we need to embrace each other and spread the love that's what i believe yeah i think we should get a little funky what do you think Lita? yeah let's get funky y'all stand true we are me and you we love you love y'all urban gypsies <laughs> people don't you lose your warrior spirit
The mission of First Night St. Pete is to broaden and deepen the public's appreciation for the visual, performing, and literary arts through an innovative, diverse, and high-quality program on New Year's Eve. Your support tonight helps us ensure that there are many more First Nights to come. Help start first night, St. Petersburg. She came up to Albany, New York, where I was doing first night, she and my father, and thought it was really terrific. 
And so when she came back, she discovered some people, as Pat Mason was saying in the last meeting, that really wanted to do it. You know, she would tell you that she's not creative, but she's the number one cheerleader for the arts in St. Pete. So I was the logistics director for many years, and then that kind of evolved into being the artistic logistics director with Pat. I love the fact that it was available to anybody. And we always did our best to try and provide a range of entertainment that would appeal to people of all ages, all races. You know, we, we really did our best to get as wide a variety of, and diversity. Wasn't always easy, right, Jamie? I really think that that first night played a small but important part in the development of St. Pete as an arts town. Because we spent, you know, we, we every performer was paid something, whether it be free admission buttons or t-shirts or a lot, most of them got cash, you know, cash money. And we did our best to provide them with a decent paycheck. And many thanks to all the different performers, artists, creative people, creative thinkers, out of the box thinkers. So I thank everybody over the years that participated and helped and was enthusiastic and worked hard and helped with how many years is it now, Jamie, for First Night St. Pete? 28. 28, right? So it's closing in on 30 now. So it's quite a run. It's been wonderful. I put a spell on you Because you're mine You better stop the things you do I tell you I ain't lying You know I can't stand it, you're running around You know better, Daddy I can't stand it cause you put me down Oh, no, no I put a spell on you Because you're mine Running around, you know better, Daddy. I can't stand it because you put me down. Oh, no, no, no. I'm... Love unifies us, love brings us together, right? And hate divides. And I, that's like something that I've really been feeling lately. And, and I think this song is just about, like, you know remembering as we move forward in the future to love each other and care for each other so we can face the future together. So this is GROW. I resisted the charms of evil zones as she stood by my bedside speaking in tongues and the lovers who cried won't be denied as they fight for the right to grow, to grow. Please don't turn us down, don't turn us down. Turn, turn.
Turn up the love, turn up and watch us sing as we grow. The future we don't know, no, unless we do it together. Together, I requested to know what I did wrong, cause I sure didn't mean to string you along but the blood in my body and my heart beat it said it's to feel a crime a crime please don't turn us down won't be turned down turn 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 up the love turn up and watch us Each and every year for the last 28 years, a new artist creates a custom designed piece of artwork which is proudly displayed on the admission buttons and has become a collector's item throughout the community. Here is a glimpse at some of our favorites. For over two decades, Creative Clay's mission has been to help people with disabilities achieve full and inclusive lives through access to the arts. We provide expressive, educational, and vocational experiences for adult artists with neurodifferences each week through various art programs. Individuals of all ages and abilities who walk through our doors are mentored, taught, and empowered to become working artists who actively create, market, and sell their work. The end result is that a formerly stigmatized population, through the art it creates and sells, demystifies stereotypes surrounding those with disabilities and creates a culture of acceptance throughout the community. Creative Clay, making the arts accessible for all. I want to wish you a happy new year once again, everyone. Hi, Ann Kelly from The Dove, our 28th annual First Night St. Petersburg. It's virtual, it's online, but that doesn't mean our support for the arts in St. Pete stops. Because you bought the packages and those wonderful buttons, which, by the way, have become collector's items, you're helping out the arts in St. Pete. If you haven't already done so, go online to WDUV.com. Buy buttons, buy packages. You can do it after the event, too, and that way we start building up the cash for 2022. It's going to be a great new year because you're a part of it, and I look forward to being there with you. Happy New Year to everyone in Tampa Bay. See you next year. Smile. 
smile though your heart is aching smile even though it's breaking when there are clouds in the sky you get by if you smile through your fear and sorrow smile and maybe tomorrow you see the sun come shining through for you light up your face with gladness hide every trace of sadness although a tear may be ever so near that's the time you must keep on trying smile what's the use of crying you find that life is still worthwhile if you just your heart is aching smile even though it's breaking when there are clouds in the sky you get by if you smile through your fear and sorrow smile and maybe tomorrow you see the sun come shining through for you light up your face with gladness hide every trace of sadness Although a tear may be ever so near That's the time you must keep on trying Smile, what's the use of crying? You'll find that life is still worthwhile If you just smile Except for the Coast Guard helicopter. <laughs> but it made me smile anyway. Uh, hi, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. We are so happy to be here playing for First Night for you. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Daniela Soledade, and this is Nate Najar. And this is downtown St. Petersburg. <laughs> what would you like to do? We're doing, oh, how about a Bossa Nova classic? Something that was very, very popular in the 1960s in the United States. Daniela Soledadji is from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> She's from Rio. And uh, so we're going to do a Rio speciality for you. <laughs> Upon a single note, 
Other notes are bound to follow, but the root is still that note. Now this new one is the consequence of the one we've just been through. As I'm bound to be the unavoidable consequence of you. There's so many people who can talk and talk and talk and just say nothing, or really nothing. I have fixed up all the scale I know and at the end I've come to nothing, or really nothing. So I come back to my first note, as I must come back to you. I will pour into that one note all the love I feel for you. Anyone who wants the whole show, Remy Fasolacido, he will find himself with no show. Better play that note, you know. Esse sambinha feito numa nota só Outras notas vão entrar, mas a base é uma só Essa outra é consequência do que acabo de dizer Como eu sou a consequência inevitável de você Tanta gente existe por aí que fala, fala e não diz nada Ou quase nada Já me utilizei de toda escala No final não sobrou nada Não deu em nada E voltei pra minha nota Como eu volto pra você Vou contar com a minha nota Como eu gosto de você E quem quer todas as notas É me faça o lacido Fica sempre sem nenhuma Fica em uma nota só enjoyed that song. Oh, that's wonderful. It's so much fun. <laughs> yeah, it is. And I love playing it with you. <laughs> I love singing it with you. <laughs> We're going to do one more song for you. And once again, Happy New Year. Happy and thank New you Year. for joining us. Yes. What are we doing? Well, I wanted to tell them we're all in white. Oh, because yes. We're all in white because in Brazil, everybody wears white for New Year's. And I, I decided not to break the tradition. <laughs> well done. <laughs> what are we doing? Um, oh, how about, can I call it an American standard? It's a French song, but it became an American standard, and it's also the last song that's on my album, A Moment of View, that was released last year. So, and on the album, it's just Nate and I, so you're going to get exactly what we recorded. <laughs> Not quite, this will be better because I play better now. Oh, great. <laughs> I 
I wish you bluebirds in the spring to give your heart a song to sing and then a kiss but more than this I wish you love and in July a lemonade to cool you in some leafy glade I wish you health and more than wealth I wish you love my breaking heart and I agree that you and I could never be so with my my very best I set you free I wish you shelter from the storm a cozy fire to keep you warm but most of all when snowflakes fall I wish My breaking heart and I agree that you and I could never be so with my best my very best I set you free I wish you shelter from the storm a cold fire to keep you warm but most of all when snowflakes fall I wish you love I wish you shelter from the storm a cozy fire to keep you warm but most of all When snowflakes fall I wish you You guys have a wonderful New Year's Eve. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Daniela Soledade. This is Nate Najar. First night. Thank you so much for having us. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year. See you next year. Well, now as we count down to the New Year, my contribution will be an image to manifest beautiful change and growth for the year to come. And what better way to express this type of metamorphosis than a butterfly? Let's see how it goes.
healthy and beautiful 2021. Bingo! Hello and Happy New Year. I'm Jeff Baker with Duke Energy and we are honored to be the presenting sponsor of the 28th Annual First Night St. Petersburg. While we may not be able to be downtown as we have been in years past, First Night St. Petersburg is still the place to be to have an incredibly fun and exciting New Year's Eve. The artists, performers, volunteers, and staff have worked incredibly hard to bring you many different memorable performances that I know you're going to enjoy. So no matter where you're joining us from, whether, whether it's here locally in St. Petersburg or from anywhere around the world, you have picked the right place to ring in 2021. On behalf of all of us at Duke Energy, we certainly wish each and every one of you a healthy and happy new year. Good evening, everyone. Happy New Year, and welcome to First Night St. Pete. My name is Orvest Law, and I am an instructor at Simone Salsa Dance School in Tampa, Florida. We'd like to thank the organizers of First Night St. Pete for inviting us to participate. Normally, we would be doing this right in front of that beautiful museum down there, but today, we're gonna be in lovely downtown Tampa, Florida. We're gonna start today by doing some basic salsa footwork so that when you hear some good salsa music somewhere that you understand how to dance by yourself when the music comes on. We're gonna do three forms of basic step. We're gonna do our basic step in place. We're gonna do our basic step going side to side. And then finally, we're gonna end with our basic step going forward and backwards. When we do our footwork in place, it's gonna look like this. We're gonna start with our first step with our left foot. So we're just gonna go one, two, three. That's our first step. Let's everyone do that together on my count. Ready? And one, two, three. Now we have to do four, five, six. The fourth step we're gonna take with our right leg. We're gonna go four, five, six. Or in other words, we're gonna go right, left, right. All right? So counting four, five, six, let's do all that together. Starting with your right foot. Ready? And four, five, six. One more time, but this time I'm gonna say right, left, right. All right? Here we go. Ready? And right, left, right. Awesome. So if we put both halves together, what we have is one, two, three, a slight pause, and then we have four, five, six. One more way we, we count that is we go left, right, left, slight pause, right, left, right. All right? So I'm gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're gonna do the steps like that together, all right? On my count, ready, and 
One, two, three, pause, four, five, six. Great. Let's do that a couple more times, all right? Here we go. Ready? And one, two, three, pause, four, five, six. So all that's left now is to try this with the music, all right? Follow me first. This is what it's going to sound like and look like with the music, all right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, pause, four, five, six. One, two, three, pause, four, five, six. All right? So let's do that together, you guys. On my count, we're going to do three in a row. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. I hope you made that. All right? As the music is coming in again, let's try doing this also. With the same music, but this time we're going to try using left, right, left, uh, right, left, right. All right, here we go. On my count. One, two, three, four. Left, right, left, right, left, right. 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 All right, you guys. That is salsa, basic step in place. Six steps, all right there. All right? All right, so next, we started here with our baby salsa steps. Now we're gonna bring up, the, up our baby salsa steps up to about here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our steps going sideways. Our first step is always gonna be with our left foot. And instead of taking it in place, we're gonna take that step out to the side. So when we take this first step, it's gonna go one. Then our second step is gonna take us back to the same spot. Two. And then we're gonna step in place, and that's gonna be three. So what I have is side and in place. All right? Again, side and in place. When we get to this part where we come back in place, I want you to make sure that you put your weight on top of this left leg so that this right leg is free, so that we know that this is the next foot that we're stepping in, all right? That's gonna be very important. So let's do that together, all right? We're gonna do one, two, three, going to the side. Ready, and one, two, three. Let's do that again. Ready, and one, two, three. Awesome. Now that's the first half. The second half is gonna be going to our right. So we're gonna go four, five, six. All right, let's try doing that together. Ready, and four, five, six. One more time. Ready, and four, five, six. Great. So if we put both halves of this step together, it's gonna look like this. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right? So let's do that together. Uh, we're gonna try that to my count three times in a row. All right? To my count. Here we go. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Last time, one, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. So that's the whole basic step. All that's left is to try it with the music, all right? So here we go, we're gonna try this on my count. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, 
four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's it, that's it. So that's two forms of basic stuff. Let's see if we can put those together. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do four of those basic steps in place. Four of those basic steps in place, and then we're gonna do four of the basic steps going side to side. Here we go. One, two, three, in place. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's one. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three. One, two, three. Last time. Four, five, six. Side. One, two, three. Four, five, six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. One, two, three. One, five, six. Last time. One, two, three. Now in place. One, two, three. Four, five, six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. One, two, three. Now side to side. One, two, three. Four, five, six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome, you guys. Hope I didn't lose anyone out there, all right? So we've grown our sauce a little bit. We have two steps that we know now. We know basic step in place, and we know basic step going side to side. Only thing that's left for us today is to learn this basic step going forward and backwards. Again, we're gonna start with our left foot. And I kind of want you to think of this as like you're walking. What we're gonna do is we're gonna walk forward and we're gonna walk backwards. And when you walk, one foot always passes the other foot. So we're gonna take our first step with our left foot going forward. We're gonna go left for one. For two, we're gonna walk backwards to the same spot. But we're gonna keep this other foot in the front. So we have two, but this foot is still out in the front. Now we're gonna take this foot that's on two and we're gonna bring it back behind us for step three. And then we're gonna leave this foot in the front. So that's gonna be the first half, one, two, three. Each time a foot is passing the other foot. So we have one, two, three. All right. Let's try doing the second half. So if we did one, two, three, we did forward and back. Now we're gonna go back and forward. So with this foot that's in the front, my right leg is gonna go backwards, then I'm gonna go and, and then I'm gonna go forward, all right? So here we were on step three with, with my left foot in the back. My step four is gonna be going backwards. So we have backwards and forwards. All right? Uh, one thing I find particularly helpful is to make sure that every time you're taking a step, you're changing weight. So make sure that you pick your feet up off the ground a little bit so that you know that you've taken a step. So one, all my weight's on that front foot. Two, all my weight's on the back foot. Three, all my weight's on the back foot. I kind of make sure I pick my feet up. And then now I'm gonna go four, five, six. All right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one, two, three, then pause, and then we're gonna do four, five, six. All right? Here we go on my count. Ready? And one, two, three. Ready? Going backwards. Four, five, six. Six. Let's try putting this with the music, all right? The count's gonna be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right? So let's do this together. One, two, three, four. Forward and backwards. Backwards and forward. 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 Did I lose anyone? Let's shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Get, get loose, get loose, get loose. Laugh at yourself a little bit. Now for the big finale, let's see if we can put all of this together. So let's all join it and get this in and do it together. 
together. Ready? One, two, three, in place. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Last time. One, two, three. Now side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Last one. One, two, three. Now back and forward. Forward and back. Back and forward. Forward and back. Back and forward. Last one. Now in place. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Last one. Now side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Last one. Now back and forward. Forward and back. 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 Back and forward. Ladies and gentlemen. Give yourselves a round of applause. I want to thank again all you lovely people for joining us today. The people at uh, First Night St. Pete, thank you for inviting us. Uh, look us up on the internet, Simone Salsa, uh, at SimoneSalsa.com. And uh, everyone, have a wonderful new year and uh, get home safely. Thank you very much.
giving you a long and look. Every day I'd write the book. Oh, long and look. Every day I'd write the book. Yeah, yeah. Oh, every day, every day, every day, every day.
Hey, hey yo, leverage. All you ever wanted was the leverage. The way you got away, I gotta say it was impressive. Typing out a paragraph, I don't wanna press it. I'ma stay quiet, just hoping you get the message. The heart is not treasured where the chest is. Heart has been changed like cardiac arrest is. Took you from the worst, had to show you where the best is. Then I make you come, now I'm showing you the exit, babe. Second after second, minute after minute, hour after hour, I waited for you. But I was wasting my time. Day after day, week after week, month after month, the sun was blazing for you. But you were lost in the night. I ain't got no regrets, just in case you forget. I can remember laying on the ground, hoping I would see you again. But you let me down, then I ended up with nothing. You don't understand, that was not the plan. It's one thing that I want to know, one thing that I got to know. Do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? Everything. Oh, ooh, ah. 
from what I understand in the year 2000, there were somewhere in the neighborhood of 250 first nights celebrated around the country in various cities. Um, we're now down to seven. We're one of those seven. First night, like many of the other things we sponsor has to do with the arts, has to do with education, because there is some educational uh, aspects to it, and has to do with inclusion. Um, the first night has always been inclusive. It's been generational inclusive. It's been racially inclusive. It's, it's basically uh, an event for the community. My message is please continue to support us and uh, buy the button and uh, our little volunteer board and, and our ED, Jamie, will keep doing it as long as we know there's community support for it. Uh, the city really did step up and help us this year. I don't think we could have done it at all without what the city contributed.
2021 is that we look out for one another and that we're able to find productive, creative pursuits for our energies. My name is Cassandra Rose and Happy New Year from St. Petersburg, Florida. First night has been held in St. Petersburg for 28 years. 
and from the outset this church has been involved. We're here in the sanctuary, I'm sitting on the altar, and this is where we have jazz in the sanctuary. We have four different gigs of jazz performed every New Year's Eve for the last 28 years. The opening came for a site coordinator, and that's what I've done for about, I believe this would have been my sixth year of being the site coordinator here for this venue. Well, I gotta say the jazz because I, I don't have a vocal music minor from the University of Northern Iowa for nothing, but I grew up with jazz because my brother-in-law was an original member of the jazz ensemble at uh, University of Northern Iowa in Cedar Falls, Iowa. And yes, I would say sitting here and listening to the jazz, if I can get in here without running around to all these other responsibilities, but the jazz in the sanctuary, is, that's almost like an oxymoron, don't you think? Having jazz in a church sanctuary, I love it. Belinda Womack and Fred Johnson, without a doubt. I remember sitting at B.B. Joe's on Central Avenue decades ago when Fred Johnson would perform down there uh, on Saturday nights and go and sit there for hours and listen to him perform. And he was here a couple of years ago. And Belinda Womack, they're both very well-known jazz area jazz artist, Belinda, she just charmed the socks off of everybody here. She would go around with a microphone and go out into the audience. She'd put the microphone in front of them while she, the, they were singing. She would have them sing too. So it was like, those are, those are two that stand out with me. Now last year, Nate was here, Nate Najjar. So smooth, oh, really good. Well, I think it brings such a sense of community pride and the concept of having jazz in a church sanctuary just is a very appealing thing. So building community pride and the length of time we've had this, it's built up quite a clientele and just about everybody knows what first night is. So I think it's community pride. First night all over the country is a very viable, uh, program for communities and I plan to support it and I hope you will too.
phenomenal community celebrating the arts and welcoming in another year with First Night St. Pete. We appreciate the support from the City of St. Petersburg and all of our sponsors, partners, artists, and collaborators. On behalf of my family to yours, we wish you a very happy New Year. Stomp was fun. It wouldn't be the new year without it. Thanks to all the kids who did that at home. You know, you can tag us with your photos at 105.5 The Dub. I'd love to see your own bubble stomp. And remember, just because we were virtual this year doesn't mean we're not looking forward to 2022. So when you make the donation, that is going to help out the arts in St. Pete. And it's going to keep First Night St. Pete going for many, many years to come. It's been a rough year for all of us. I get it but I firmly believe better days are ahead of us. So let's have a happy and a safe new year and see you next year.
Tom.